What is going on, everyone? Welcome to another Screen Sanctum Reaction. I'm Steve, and today I'm going to react to Community Season 6, Episode 11, Modern Espionage. Last week was the road trip. The Dean bought the giant hand. Everyone wanted him to get rid of it, so they had to try to sell it, but in the end, they couldn't, and uh, they placed it on campus. So we're here, Episode 11. After this, two more to go until the series is over. I cannot believe it, but... Before we get into this episode, if you want to see this uncut reaction and all my uncut reactions, please check out my Patreon. It's something for everyone, and I have a free tier. All right, modern espionage in three, two, one, and go. From the Mickey. <laughs> Starburns. Hi, Starburns. <gasps> Oh, we're getting everyone this episode? You know you don't have to creep around to be weird, right? <laughs> I heard there was no paintball. I heard it's banned. Well, <gasps> you can't believe everything you hear. Please say we're reality. gonna get paintball. <laughs> <laughs> Finally! Oh no, his top hat. <laughs> oh god. Here. I mean, I think I could win this year. I think I could go all the way. Oh my god. Actually, you'll be sad. No. Oh my god. Are we finally getting a good episode in season six? I don't know nothing about no secret paintball games. This is from Huffing Paint, I swear. Oh. Dean, I respect that you are my boss, so either fire me or let me handle this and go to your office. <laughs> Good morning. This era is over. It was fun while it lasted, but now mommy's home. Oh Everybody with a gun will be expelled. Hey. Thank you. That's yeah, a good you cameo you callback. I'd like you to introduce him. Why would I do that? Because you're the de facto leader of Greendale, and if you gave it's a de facto out leader, paintball, it might end it. Please, if not for Greendale, then for me. Why? Damn, I thought we were getting a paintball episode, and it looks like yeah, we I are actually not remember. getting a paintball episode. And I think it would break her heart if she caught any of us undermining her goals. Yeah, yeah, interesting, reasonable. Jeff. Right. It's gonna make it a lot easier for me to beat. <gasps> oh, they all got their guns. What the hell? <laughs> this an alliance. I don't know. Is it? Cut the crap out, <laughs> Stop that! What are you doing? Oh. Go back to class. Okay. So let's make this pain. Take it easy. Knock it off. Okay. Frankie is coming. What is important to you people? Nothing. They're not even enrolled there. So you are definitely not playing paintball. They're clearly oh, playing the Frankie, eerie game. I've been cool up until now. <laughs> Bye, Frank. Bye, Frankie. Hi. Hi. Let's take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Whoever's running this server is offering a huge cash prize. Oh, my God. Look at that user interface. And they seem to have their own man in the game. <gasps> of course. So who's the silver paintballs guy? I haven't uh, heard about City College in a long man, time. Among us, Everything you're saying just proves my point that the only way to lose this game Come is on. to play Respect it. The I dean. say you're the honest thing and tell Frankie. And nobody really needs the dean anymore because Frankie's here. <laughs> Oh, let it out, Dean. Let it all out. Connor, stop horsing around with Billy and Party. Is that uh, Stephen Ag or Stephen Aggie from Suicide Squad? Excuse me, good sir. If I could have the mic. Attention, shoppers. There's a sale on partying. This guy's here. <laughs> they got literally everybody. I thought your name was Fun Dad. Easy. <laughs> the first rule of Club Club is that we are not a fight club. The second rule <laughs> is that if you're a hot lady, you have to have sex with me. Oh. Uh. These are green meanies. They explode on contact and they mark your target 
paint. That's, That's the what they all do. Paintball. Okay, so you know your stuff. <laughs> If you're a narc, you can't play. And if you're playing, I do accept sex oh, for ammo. This guy's creep. Who buys the silver ammo? Oh, I can't. look, if I tell you that, I'm pretends he's. Oh, dead. no, Annie. <laughs> Did this dude just miss Annie, or was he not even trying? I'll give her enemy this. They're clever. Why did they pair us together? Look. <laughs> Which color will look coolest against a navy blue jumpsuit? Who wears a huh. jumpsuit to a black tie gala? The guest of honor. <gasps> oh my god. Is your <gasps> internet not working? It's one photo. It's taking an hour. <laughs> Mr. Winger, you clean up nice. Oh, come on. I'm always good looking. <laughs> There's the this Jeff we all know and love. Follow your bliss, sir. You've earned it. Hmm. <laughs> Free. Does she like sure him? Very, very careful. I checked the custodia wing for the third time. Can I come join the mission now? Let Negative him play. Continue to check the, the inside of your office. Okay. I don't like when they pick on the dean. 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 No good. Nothing good could come of this. Can we go? Negative. We don't know what's our man. Killer Clooney, do nothing unless you can do it quietly and calm. Excuse me, can I have a word with you? About what? Oh no. There's been some. Oh, Roy, get out. Get out of there now. Game on Ooh, is this going to be like the Winter Soldier? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Watch your back. Ooh, Dean. It wasn't our guy. The assassin is not in the kitchen. He's still at large. Oh, no. Act what I hope will become a yearly tradition. The popping of the balloon. Oh, no. That's a bad idea. <laughs> oh, God, Jeff. Cover him, Jeff. Cover him. Oh, Jeff. Oh, 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 no. They want Greendale to be afraid of itself and reliant on them. Yeah. More dirt, more work, more pay. We've got a real life M. Night Shyamalan eye on here. It's Shyamalan. <laughs> Come back to our side. And tell the truth so City College can be exposed. Or I could leave and get a job at City he College. He could. But if you're leaving this room, it needs to be a small army. Damn. <laughs> She's like, what the hell just happened? I agree. Oh, no. That was a nice slow uh, arrow. Mm -mm -mm. Cover me. Dreams do come true. <laughs> I was just gonna say. Whoa. Greendale has oh, it's really nice a freaking museum in it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Mannequins dress as custodians. Shoot them all. One of them is him. Mannequins. Damn, they went straight to the head. She will forgive us. Oh, I know her. I like her. And if she fires either uh, of you, I'll quit. She's hmm. not the enemy. Will he? If you guys lower your guns, I'm not gonna throw you a party, <laughs> but I'm not gonna get anyone fired either. I'll see you Monday. Idiots. You big dummies. And the Pope looks at the giraffe and says, I'm in the room. Sorry, I can't remember the whole joke. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> so, where did we leave off last time? I like big trucks. 
I saw a fire truck today. <laughs> Interesting point. Would anyone care to comment, Elroy? I made a stinky. <laughs> Garrett. She's been, which, by the way, seems to be a total of two. One of which is old. Again, no magnitude. Nobody is safe. Nobody is safe. <laughs> Blue. Uh oh. Oh. Vicky and Garrett. <laughs> no one wants that. Yeah, that's right. That's what I always say. <laughs> we, we did put a fair share of work into this, but you don't have to be dick. <laughs> Dude, this begs the question of why it took 11 episodes in season six for them to put out a community episode that felt like a community episode. And it's not just the paintballs. Like, obviously, we love seeing paintballs. There was more to it. Like, I don't know. It just felt like everyone had more chemistry this episode. It was more fluid. Like, it had more of, like, an overall plot and arc to it. It's hard to explain. But, yeah, it's familiar because we got something that we've seen before and it's been a while. But, I mean, it was just funny. Besides the episode with Matt Berry, this was... The funniest episode of the of the season so far and it's so odd to me that it took so long and and we only have two episodes left so it's like for me watching it i kind of couldn't wait for the season to be over so i could kind of reminisce about the season sit on it think about my favorite episodes my funniest moments and things like that and then they dropped this episode 11 and now i'm like damn this is like this is peak community like this is what community a perfect episode of community was like <laughs> for the first four seasons and we only have two left so it's like what i don't i don't know this is so weird so you all got to tell me in the comments below what what was going on during season six like just besides the fact that yeah of course the whole cast isn't there but i mean they paired Abed with Annie and they're a great pair together when they do certain types of episodes. Like they're not a perfect pair for everything, but if uh, like the group is doing something and you don't have Troy there, like Abed and Annie is a great pair. I remember back, I think it was the first paintball episode where there was a little sexual tension there where he was Han Solo and they almost kissed. They have good chemistry when they have to team up to like, Get, do, get, get to a goal, like figure something out. Jeff being the leader is just like, you know, that's just part of his arc from where he never wanted to be and they didn't want him to be a leader. And they didn't like him to where we are here in season six where he's like the voice of reason a lot of the times. So that's pretty cool. Britta still just being Britta. I, I kind of feel like she really hasn't progressed or regressed. She's just been... You know, but she's fine. Bringing everybody back, though, was kind of cool. I really enjoyed that because um, if you're going to, because I think Paintball was season two, the end of season two. So it's been four seasons. So if you're like, listen, we're going to try to do Paintball again, you probably want to get the background characters and be like, hey, do you guys want to be a part of this? Because I'm sure it was really fun recording uh, those first two episodes and filming it. So it was nice of them to bring almost everyone back. But again, where is Magnitude? What was Magnitude doing? The, the actor that played him, this came out in 2015. What was he doing in 2014 that I'm not aware of that I need to watch? <laughs> because I really enjoy the, uh, the character and the actor. And yeah, I definitely need to know. Like, they couldn't get Magnitude back? I appreciate that again when community does a community episode where they're doing something that they've done already it's different and again i like i'm saying it again why did it take so long in this season <laughs> for this to happen i don't know i'm like speechless right now i feel like they wasted like nine of the first 11 episodes of this season for whatever reason i don't know but they were just like this this had hilarity it had laughs it had pace it was upbeat it was quick it was witty. It had everything. It checked off every box of an OG community episode. Um, 
So now the last two episodes do have a lot to live up to. And I know everyone out there has really told me that season six goes out with a bang, especially the last three episodes. So I will admit the first of the last three episodes was the best episode of season six. And again, it is the most community episode of season six to me so far. And that makes me happy. I kind of like in the beginning how for me, I was tricked into thinking they were teasing us with a paintball episode and then they were going to take it away and just make it another boring season six episode. I'm glad they didn't do that. And I'm glad that this episode of paintball didn't end with anyone like getting the prize. I liked how it had a different plot than the first two where we had to kind of figure out who was the one who set it up and you know, the who, what, where, and why about the whole thing. It was nice to see that it was actually the janitors doing it because of the action of one person working actually in Greendale. It was like, we're being overworked. Like, let's just have some fun. So that was kind of neat. Um, but they did say something in the beginning of the episode. It was some something to the, to the effect of like, kind of we're like almost done with ideas. Like that's kind of what it sounded like to me when they were talking about paintball. This era is over. It was fun while it lasted, but now mommy's home. Everybody with a gun will be expelled or fired. Yeah, kind of. It's feeling that way, but like this was nice. This made me extremely happy. I smiled inside. It was the first time in a long time that I watched an episode of Community and I was like, this is Community. Like this, this is what I came to love was this type of episode. And now it is sad that there's only two more left. So hopefully they knocked them out of the park. So season six can go out, you know, on a high note for me. I'm not talking about everyone out there. If you all love season six, that's fine. But if they knock out episode 12 and 13, it'll be perfect for me that their best episodes were uh, at the end of the season. So, ah, man, that was, that was fun. But then again, it makes me kind of sad that Troy wasn't there to enjoy this with all of his friends because Troy would have had a ball dressing up as a Secret Service agent and pre pretending to protect someone. He would have loved it. So, yeah, all you out there were right so far of the last three episodes. The first one was really good, so... Two more weeks to see if you're correct about the last two. So what did you all think of this episode of Community? I'm sure everybody loved it. I loved it. What did you think of my reaction? And what do you think of my thoughts? And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, guys.